So this is a Helix Aspera snail. They're found in a lot of places, but right now I'm in Algarve, Portugal. Uh, this snail was found here on plants, and I've been keeping him for a while to get to know about about uh, him and some of his friends. And I say him, but all snails are hermaphrodites, meaning that uh, they can't produce babies on their own, but they can produce babies with any other snail. I guess there has to be some chemistry there, but anyway, they get together and when two snails mate, they can both end up producing eggs. They both can trade the sperm sacs and they both get their eggs fertilized, which they then lay in the soil. And the eggs wait in the soil until it's the right time for them to hatch, meaning when there is rain, when there's uh, enough water, because snails, being uh, very soft-bodied creatures ex except for the, the shell, are very dependent on having having moisture. Uh, if there is no moisture, uh, for instance in a country like this where the summers are very hot and dry, they generally estivate during that time, which is essentially hibernating, but it's because it's too hot, they seal themselves up. They're able to produce a, a hard uh, coating over the entrance to their shell and they either stick themselves onto a tree or onto a wall or they dig themselves underground and just wait it out because that's the best most efficient way for them to survive. Uh, you can see this guy's longer antenna here are eye stalks so he is he's got rudimentary eyes he's watching me and trying to figure out where he's going next. And the smaller two in front are uh, sensors that he can he can use for feeling and, and tasting. And underneath that, which you can't really see right now, is his mouth. And his mouth is mainly a little hole, but he has a rasping tongue which essentially is like a nail file. It scrapes and scrapes on whatever plant material generally that he's eating. And of course that produces very fine pieces that he's able to then consume. So his whole body is a muscle. This whole part that you see is his foot. So he has a foot, no leg. You can tell that he's a full-grown snail because there is a lip on this shell. The lip that goes around right here. If he was not full-grown, then you wouldn't be able to see that, that flaring out at the edge of the shell. And he's just about up to the camera lens, so let me move him so that we can see a little bit more. Okay. I'm going to give him my thumb to hold on to. And hopefully we'll be able to see in here his breathing hole. The darker fleshy part that you see is called the mantle. It's the fleshy part that connects the snail's soft body parts. There's the breathing hole right there to the hard shell. And the breathing hole is really obvious right there. And he closes it again to keep that protected. Opening and closing. Inhalation, exhalation. Um, if a snail is damaged, if, if that mantle pulls away from the shell, then pretty much the snail will not survive. kind of hard to see the snail's mouth if he's not eating something. 
Mm, you can see it a little bit here, but unless he's actually eating something, you can't see it. It's really cute when he eats. So that's a general introduction to a land snail, Helix aspera. Uh, this guy found in Portugal, in the Algarve.